Hi friends, it's Alison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being with me today. I've got a great crafty project for you featuring the Apple Builder Punch, brand new in the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. It is an adorable project and I can't wait for you to see. So I have my cute Apple Builder Punch, and this punch is actually part of a bundle called Harvest Hellos, and it is so stinking cute. We've got apples, of course, and then we've also got pumpkins, a little jack-o'-lantern face, and some really great sentiments. This is a fabulous bundle for fall crafting and beyond. I don't need many paper pieces for the project I'm making today. I have a little piece of my crumb cake cardstock, and this is two and a half inches by a quarter of an inch. Then I just have a scrap of granny apple green, a scrap of soft suede. This is a piece of my basic black cardstock, and this is two inches by four inches. And then this is just a scrap of our regular whisper white cardstock. So that is it for my paper pieces. To complete my project, I need some more stamping supplies. I'm going to use one of these six by eight cello bags, some linen thread, a gorgeous granny apple green textured weave ribbon. I've also got out the Itty Bitty Greetings stamp set. This is a really big, beautiful stamp set with all the sentiments that you'll need for the whole year. This is a great one that I pull out a lot. I've also got my Tuxedo Black Memento ink my fine tip glue pen, and this is very important in our process. Of course, our fun apple builder punch, and this is our scallop tag topper punch. So I'm ready to begin. So first, let's create the tag for our project. So we are going to punch out the top of the tag using the scallop tag topper punch. So super quick and easy way to make a really cute little tag. Very so this is where things get really fun. We're gonna take our apple builder punch and create a little caramel apple. So just open up your punch, take your granny apple green cardstock, place it inside and punch. So there is our cute apple. And then we also need a punch of the soft suede cardstock. Okay, so now we have the pieces we need to create the caramel on our apple. So what I'm gonna do is just take my paper snips and make sure you're cutting the top and I'm just going to create a caramel drip pattern with my paper snips. And this is so simple. If you have little ones, you could absolutely get them to you know, practice their motor skills by creating the little caramel piece with their scissors. So let's put that on with our snail adhesive. So we're just going to layer those two pieces. Isn't that already looking caramelly cute? But the real fun comes when we add the glue from our fine tip glue pen to the caramel and make it all shiny. So I'm just gonna take my fine tip glue pen and we're just gonna flood the caramel portion. So go along the edge that's great to have this fine tip glue pen to do this and you're just gonna fill in the entire thing. So just keep going. So I have one here that I made earlier and my fine tip glue has dried and it's all shiny and cute and it definitely looks like caramel. So next up, I want to take my little stick and this is to mimic a popsicle stick and I'm just going to pop it in to where the leaf is on this punch to round the top so it looks more like a popsicle stick. So just like that. And then I'm going to take some of my snail adhesive and we'll just put it on the back side there and put our popsicle stick our faux popsicle stick in place. Just like that, super cute. So I want to add some of my granny apple green ribbon. So I'm just going to tie myself a knot. There we go. Let's cut the edges here. Cute. I love that the ribbon matches the apple just perfectly. I am a sucker for good coordination. So let's put that on with one of our glue dots. 
We're just gonna put that where the popsicle stick goes right into our caramel apple. Look at how cute. So now we can take our scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm using the Trick or Treat sentiment from Itty Bitty Greetings. We'll stamp that down. So while that's drying, I wanna show you an alternative for this project. So if you don't wanna make a Halloween project, you could definitely turn this into a welcome gift for someone in your neighborhood. So you could put that apple on there on a white tag and put welcome. And this little welcome is from Harvest Hellos, that stamp set that is bundled with the apple builder punch. But we're going Halloween, so let's bring back in that trick or treat and we'll cut this out. There we go. So we are ready to assemble our little tag. So we've got all of our pieces. Let's put our apple on, or our caramel apple, with dimensionals. So I'm just going to put three of my dimensionals along the back here. There we go. And place that onto my tag. So cute already. And then we have our trick or treat. So I just want this sort of hanging like that. So I'm going to take some of my multi-purpose liquid glue and just put it on the back side here and stick on my trick or treat. And then what's really fun is what we're gonna do with this next to make a DIY caramel apple kit. All right, so I've got all the supplies for my caramel apple kit. I've got these creamy caramels individually packaged, so I'm not sending loose caramels. And then I have, of course, a apple, my cellophane bag, linen thread, and a popsicle stick. So what we're gonna do is take one of our bags, put our apple right in the bottom. There we go. And then let's open up our caramels and put some of those in there. How fun is this? Let's put some more caramels in. I feel like that will be appreciated by whoever gets this fun gift. More caramels is never bad. So we've got our caramels, we've got our apple. Don't forget your popsicle stick because they're going to need that to poke into the apple. They'll poke it in the apple and then do the caramel. So put in your popsicle stick. All right, so now comes my linen thread and I'm just going to use that to tie this up. So tie yourself a double knot so it doesn't come undone. Okay. And then I want to put on my really fun tag for my DIY or do it yourself <laughs> cute caramel apple kit. So this would be really fun to give out at Halloween to kids that you know. I don't know that I would give an apple to kids I didn't know just because I wouldn't want to worry the parents. Um, so it would be really fun to give out to kids you know, to coworkers, and don't forget that it doesn't always have to be just for Halloween. You could definitely do this project, you know, and like I showed you with the welcome tag, you could give it to someone who's new to your neighborhood. There's lots of great possibilities, and that is our cute little apple kit. I think it's so adorable. I hope you love it, and I hope you'll make some this Halloween season. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed that cute little DIY caramel apple kit with the adorable caramel apple tag, which of course wouldn't have been possible without our cute apple builder punch. So to shop for all the supplies I use for today's crafty project, head on over to my Canadian online Stampin' Up! store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. Don't forget, I have a great rewards program when you shop with me. Check it out. There's a link in the video description below. Thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. I never want you to miss out on any of the crafty fun here on the Nice People Stamp YouTube channel. Thanks for being with me today, and I'll see you soon. Bye!